What's happening? I have seven minutes with y'all. Let the let the noise pass. Let it pass. Let it pass. Let it pass. I got some. I'm about to spit the realest shit that you ever gonna hear. Just real, authentic. You don't hear this anywhere else but me. They always seem to find. Nah, I take a hike. I'm okay. Oh, so that one has a cost called state and this has low. I get it now. It's alright, man. I'm slow. Anyway, I'm about to spit the realest, the realest thing that you ever heard, man. Every time I come around, they find the most homeless people and mentally ill patients you can ever see. And as you can take a look, as you see around the news, those are the people that's doing the most attacking on individual people, mentally ill or homeless people. Those two kind of go hand in hand. You feel me? So which means somebody's using them for their personal purpose, just like they're using them against me. But yet, nobody recognized or noticed these people until they needed to use them for something. They didn't know, they don't even know who these niggas are, you feel me? And I know this because of my experience in New York. Once upon a time, I seen a man when I was about to go into the store, he asked me for money. Then I'm like, all right, come on, let's go. I'm going to give you some money. Then another man came in there. We're not going to mention their race. Another man came in there who was of the same race as the man who asked me for the money. He was mad that I was willing to help one of his fellow men out because he didn't want me to help that man out. So he decided to give that man money. He was like, now nah, we don't need your help. We don't need your help. But the other man did not know him. So the other man was apologizing under his breath to me, saying that, so, and the other guy gave him $20. But what was that $20 when that man needed it? Why did he have to ask me for money? You didn't recognize that man until I decided to help that man out. And that's the thing. People will help you out of spike, in the, out of spike of other people. Because he didn't even know who that nigga was. He walked by that nigga every day. And I seen that man every day when I came off that train. But nobody recognized them. But when it comes to me, the hate is so real. And they refuse to acknowledge anything about me that they're willing to use these people or help these people in spite of me. You understand what's going on? And that's the same thing that's going on right here. They're using these, these people. They don't know these men. They don't know these homeless people sometimes. But just to degrade me, to demonize me, to make me look foolish in any kind of way they all of a sudden have a need for these people if you really had a need for these people that one time that you help them out if you was in a position to help them out you point them in the right direction because there's too many people working hand in hand y'all got a networking going on and yet y'all not using it for nothing that is tangible it's nothing fruitful coming out of that they have all this communication going on. Oh, he's coming here. He's coming this. You can stop a bus and everything else, but you're not using it for the right purpose. And yet these are the same people that complain and say, we can't do nothing. Yet you, you use the power that you have to do the wrong things. Look at how much communication and networking going on, and they're not using it for right things. When it comes to me, yeah, they're com they, they communicating very well. Look at the way they work hand in hand. They got homeless guys standing on the other side. They got this nigga standing right here. They got one person standing right here. Everybody's in uniform, unison. They communicating very well, but they can't use the same power to generate some kind of wealth, to build something that is strong, to have a strong foundation. They can't use that. Nope. They can't do that. Nah, nah. They 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 gotta they gotta use that same energy. They use the, you can use that same energy for something good. But they can't do that because it does. It it is it, it. That's not where their mind is at. The Bible said it himself. When it comes to you know, I always gotta go to the scripture. <laughs> the Bible said, when it comes to doing good things, they have no knowledge. But when it comes to doing wicked things, they are very very smart. You feel me? These are the people that he was talking about. He said, when it comes to doing good things for people, just to do good deeds. 
they have they lack the knowledge they have no knowledge of doing these things but when it comes to doing something bad doing something wicked they have all the knowledge you see how that shit work you can't serve two masters at the same time now nah, they're using these mentally ill people they're using these homeless people for their own dirty tricks you feel me but yet do not want to help these people out beyond that would you offer them five dollars chill what you offer them five dollars twenty dollars you feel me you're not doing nothing for them you're only using them to hurt somebody else because you hurt yourself you refuse to face your own internal troubles so you're going to use somebody else to do your job or you're going to try to fight it in me and you're still escaping who you are as a person i'm done you ain't gotta listen to me man you got a nice car i'm on the sidewalk talking on the phone to myself why does it matter to you that's what i'm talking about he he's one of the perfect example you feel me these are the things that you gotta be, be, be dealing with they use these people they use them they don't care about them they don't care that person is mentally ill they don't care that that person don't have no food they don't care about none of that they see that person every day and they be like ew, ew i can't ew, these people are so nasty they're lazy da, da, da. but when when you needed them to attack somebody oh you knew where to go to because people always need you in a spot where they can always find you because if you start moving around too much they can't keep up with you you feel me so they need you in the as a place where they can identify you as they need they need a bad guy they be like that's the bad guy you know scarfish shit they need they need me they need a nigga like me to be like that is the bad guy yeah that's the bad guy right there you feel me they always need somebody that they can point to to escape their own troubles this is real talk man it gets no better than this it gets no better than this you feel me Good baby. You ain't even gotta look. Cause we know they watching. They always need somebody that they can point to and be like, this is this person and this is that person. Just so they can escape their own flaws. You feel me? Because they have they have not mature enough. They don't have the intelligence enough to to accept their fears, to accept that they've done wrong. Shit, nigga, a real if I will respect you if you just respect yourself in acknowledging what you do on a regular basis. Why hide who you are as a person? It doesn't make sense to hide who you are. If this is something that you do faithfully every day, then why are you hiding it? That's like me being ashamed of working at the place where I'm working at and I constantly lie about where I work at. Like I'm like I'm <laughs> you feel me? If this is who I am, then guess what? I'm wearing my badge out. Shit, sometimes I even wear the jacket. Why? Because this is what I'm doing. This is who, this is what I'm doing. This is what I get paid for. Why will I be ashamed of it? How can you be ashamed of something that you go to and do every day? They wake up every day to faithfully hate on me. And yet they're ashamed of it because they keep hiding from themselves. They don't even do that shit themselves no more. They try to recruit other people, so it seems like they're not alone when they're doing it. So the more people they have around them, the better they feel about the things that they're doing. Now that's a shame. Because if you was truly proud of what something that you're doing, let me f let you find a scheme and you making millions of dollars. A lot of people will not put people on. They will make as much money as possible before they tell anybody. yourself man it's a nice car by the way i don't know why you mad feel me you should be grateful actually but yeah you sit in the car and you teaching that little boy bad what is it a bad behavior to pay attention to things that don't even matter to you if you can't grow for what you're paying attention to then why do you listen to it and act in frustration that's that's what i don't understand there's no need for you to react to something that frustrates you in a way 
where you feel like you have to be very disruptive to the rest of the other people. It doesn't make sense. But like I was saying, they only get in groups because they feel like they, they, they feel like for them to do it by themselves is an embarrassment. So they have to get people around them to comfort them. Because internally they're already dead. So to have a comfort around them, it warms them up. It makes them feel like they're alive. Woo. Man.